the previous videos, we talked about how to build triads, and then also we went into diatonic triads and how we can utilize them on the neck. If you haven't yet, click here to check out those videos in the playlist so you get an overall understanding of arpeggios before you come back to this video. Because in this video, we're gonna be talking about seventh chords, so how to extend out from just standard triads and go into all of the seventh arpeggios that are available to us, as well as we're gonna combine this with the diatonic scale as well. We already know how to build a triad. We need the one, three, five, the two, four, six, on and on and on. Again, if you don't know that, click here, watch that video. When we're building a seventh chord though, we need to take the one, three, five, and then the seventh tone, which in this case of C major is a B. So what we need is we need a C, E, G, B. When we break down the diatonic scale, we need a one, three, five, seven, two, four, six, one, a three, five, seven, two, a four, six, one, three, a five, seven, two, four, a six, one, three, five, and a seven, two, four, six. What that gives us is a C major seven chord, a D minor seven chord, E minor seven, an F major seven, a G seven chord, an A minor seven chord, and a B minor seven flat five. Back to our C major seven. So just like when we built the triads, like a C major, we needed a major third and a minor third. But what we need now to build a C major seven is a major third, a minor third, and then another major third. To build a D minor seven, we need a minor third, and then a major third, and then a minor third. Same thing with the E, we need a minor, major, minor. Then with the F major seven, same thing, we need a major, third, minor, third, major, third. Then with the G seven, we actually need a major, third, minor, third, and then another minor, third. Then for the A minor seven, we need a minor, major, and a minor. For the B minor seven flat five, we actually need a minor third, minor third, and then a major third. And now we're back to C. So what I want you to do next, because this video is a little bit shorter because we already understand what what triads are, and we already understand what the diatonic triads are. We know what these diatonic seventh chords are, we just needed to understand what major thirds or minor thirds were actually gonna go into building these. Now that we understand that, start adding these into your playing. If you're playing a C major arpeggio, try and do a C major seven arpeggio and see how that sounds. It might give you a little bit of a lift. It makes it maybe sound a little bit more exotic. In the next video, we're gonna be discussing how to take these arpeggios and move them around the neck using octaves. I'll see you guys in the next video.